ho 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 welcome to cooking class today we are going to make pumpkin crepes first thing you need is a cup of flour then take two tablespoons of butter stick it in your microwave and melt it while that's melting a half a teaspoon of salt I just did a few grinds of my sea salt now that the butter is melted put it inside then take a half a cup of milk. I used non-lactose milk, use whatever milk you like. And then a half a cup of water. I just put it in the same container, helps get all that milk and butter out that was already in there. And two eggs. Now mix it all up with a whisk. You could use a hand mixer or a stand mixer if you'd prefer, but it's not that much batter so it's pretty easy to use a whisk now put it back into the pour spout container just so that you don't have to worry about spilling and then i got two containers from the dollar store a mustard and ketchup dispenser and that's how i'm gonna make my designs so put a couple drops of orange food coloring in and then shake it up and then to make it a little darker, I'm going to put in a few red dots of food coloring. Shake it up again, see where you're at. Mine was a little pink, so I decided to put in a few drops of yellow to make it a little orange. And then shake it up again. Now take the rest of your batter and put it into your ketchup squeezer. Because we're going to do a different color with that. We're going to do green. So put a few drops of green into that one and obviously shake it up. I used coconut oil spray on my non-stick pan. You can never be too careful with non-stick and just use your ketchup dispenser, which has the green, and make some eyes and a mouth like a jack-o'-lantern. Make whatever shape pleases you or whatever shape you can tangibly make. And if there are any areas that stick out a little bit, you can use your spatula and just kind of cut them off and take them out of there and make them a little cleaner looking. So let that heat up for a minute and then take your orange and make your pumpkin. And again, if any goes out a little bit, that's okay. You can just cut it off with your spatula. Just let it sit for just a second so it's not just goo and then get it off. And don't forget your stem with the green and then flip it over and you don't have to leave it over very long. And that stupid little piece keeps getting in my way, but it's okay. I prevailed. And there is your finished jack o' lantern! And here's some more that I did with just some different design ideas. We got some buck teeth on this guy and some angry eyebrows. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and of course, watching. And if you liked this, I've already done a jack-o'-lantern quesadilla and some Frankenstein nails. And there are many other projects to come for the month of October because I love Halloween. So stick around and check those out.